Hey everybody. I just wanted to let you guys see the progress that I made back here. I have this bed that I'm gonna be clearing out right here. I'm about to harvest these tomatoes on the here so I can make some salsa to go with dinner tonight. Oh, and look at, I got more jalapenos ready. I didn't know that. I'm making a, a smothered burrito. It's kind of like a wet burrito. This is gonna be smothered with a cheese sauce. Huh. My cabbage head is getting attacked by all these bugs. Oh well. As you can see though, my garden is all dying. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to kill it, but I haven't been here over the weekend. I've been uh, I was doing some other stuff and I haven't had my water on because I was trying to get these beds finished over here and just with me not watering for two days it looks like that everything is turned yellow so I'm gonna have to get out here and harvest a lot of stuff I have to harvest these uh, sunflowers up here and I'm gonna have to go through and try and water and revitalize some stuff that wasn't doing bad, but now it is because it hasn't been watered. So I'm gonna have to water tonight. But I'm so happy that these beds turned out pretty good. I'm ready to plant some stuff. I was supposed to plant stuff yesterday and have the water turned back on and I just couldn't do it. <laughs> Instead, I went to the beach and had fun with family and we just enjoyed ourselves. Anyways, I wanted you to see how the garden looks right now. It, right over here, it looks pretty empty. Everything is gonna look empty after a while because I'm gonna go through and pull some more stuff off. I got some other tomatoes that are ripening and almost ready to go. So I'm gonna be taking those off tonight to use in that salsa. I just wanted to give you a look at everything before I start changing stuff around. I gotta take that out. That is not good. It's one of them sticker weeds, but it kind of looks like watermelon, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> it's a sticker weed. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that stuff. Well, it's been a few days since the first part of this video i wanted to show you what i've been doing it's taken me a while to get some things done that i wanted done because it's been so hot we've been having record temps in a lot of places and my garden has taken a huge hit we've been 110 degrees plus and let me get out from under these trees. If you notice, I don't know if you can tell, but the sky is really murky because there's a fire, a huge fire going on south of where I live. And so all the smoke is hanging over us. And so it hasn't been all that fantastic lately, but I wanted to show you that, you know, I took some got some things done slowly i'm getting them done slowly but surely <laughs> got all those tomatoes pulled out of here i left all the peppers you can see on this jigsaw peppers all the pretty colors that's on there and how it looks but yeah i had to take all those tomato plants out of there i took all these tomato plants out too all of these brassicas that i had right here I got them all chopped out. They're right here. All of that's going to get put back into this bed. And then I'm going to get some more super poop and put that in here on top. And then I'll be ready to plant my some of my winter stuff. Some lettuces and things. Um, because of that heat that we've had, you can see here that this banana melon got sun scald so it's no good it's no good at all um, and then this other little melon that was growing right here 
it just turned black. It was growing nicely until we've had these temps. There's a little watermelon back there in the back. I'm gonna probably pull him up and because I think he's not even attached to anything. And these plants have suffered so much. There's just all disease and everything. So I'm gonna be pulling all this out, adding some super poop to this too, and then replanting it. This bed, my problem child bed, as you guys know, it's done. It is done. I am gonna pull everything out of here. And I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna toss it all back in and then I'm gonna put some super poop and then I'm gonna top it with that uh, cardboard that's on here. And then I'm gonna top it with some black plastic and I'm not gonna use this bed again until next spring. Look at this, I thought this was interesting. I've got a bloom here. <sighs> It was prettier. I'll put up a photo of it. It was prettier, but he's a late bloomer. <laughs> Just one. Just one. All these pomegranates on here. I'm keeping my eye on them. They're starting to turn red. So that's good because they'll be ready um, at the end of October, early November. Okay, so I planted in these beds already. And as you can see, there's some things that are already starting to grow and come up, which is good. I gotta try and keep this wind from crushing the little seedlings as they come up. There's one popping up in here. I don't know if you can see that. And these are all beans. And the ones in the middle here, they're um, watermelons and cantaloupe. So yeah, I got a second planting of summer goodies going here. So I'm hoping, because we have a longer grow season, my expected uh, frost date isn't until December 9th. So with that, I'm hoping that I can get these things going again um, for a second round of growth and now if I can just keep this fabric from flying up and destroying my seedlings here as they're coming up this wind is just bad but as you can see though I have a lot of beans and other stuff coming up these are melons like I said watermelons uh, this cantaloupe is really looking good despite this heat that we're having i thought it would just get completely ruined but it's not um, i'm trying to keep everything watered extra because of this heat this heat has been taking a toll so i got more these are all cucumbers coming up and i noticed where was it? Oh, here. These are kooka melons coming up. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> More cucumbers. I'm going to have to get out here and sprinkle again some DE because something is eating these leaves. As soon as they're coming up, eating the leaves is bugs. I know it's bugs. I just don't know what bug is. It might be those uh, roly poly bugs, those pill bugs. Yeah, these are uh, watermelon seeds. And I didn't plant all these holes in the middle yet. I'm about to plant these probably today. Oh, look at that. I got, I believe those are the uh, sugar snap. I think those are sugar snap peas that I planted. But anyways, uh, this row is all like uh, melon. Um, and well, these are not melons, obviously. These are uh, scarlet runner beans that are coming up right here. So, anyways, and I got other stuff planted over here, other beans planted on this side. And I, I got stuff inside that I need to put out. I've got corn that I planted in here that's starting to come up. 
You notice my corn that I planted before is suffering from this heat and it's already trying to do its thing too soon. But I had planted some more corn and so there's little seedlings popping up all in here of that corn that I just planted. So I gotta pull this stuff up because I don't want it getting in the way of my corn growing. And I had pulled all the weeds up from right here, right before I planted the corn so that it wouldn't be in the way. And it just popped up that much quicker because of this heat that we're having. So anyways, you guys, it is hot right now. It's not as hot as it has been. Today was considerably cooler. I just wanna show you real fast tomato row. And although my tomatoes some of them are still thriving and even putting on some fruit as you can see they suffered damage some of them are dying and dead completely and some of them are just growing at the tops but the bottoms is all dried out and sun scalded so hopefully i'll be able to get some more tomatoes off of these because i haven't really really been able to do taste tests on them um, look at this one is all drying out, but look, there's a spark of hope. Okay, so you see all along here, it's all drying out and the leaves are dying and there's still a little bit of green at the top and it put on some blossoms as you can see up there, but just in case. There's another shoot that came out the bottom here and usually I'd snip that off. But I want to see how things are going to turn out with this main stem first. I might have to replace it with that new stem growing in. But this, the same thing. All the leaves are shriveling up down at the bottom. But at the top, it's still fairly green and good and putting on flowers. It's all growing all up into this uh, oleander and on this fence. <laughs> but yeah this weather has been horrible look at that although same thing with this one but see this one the top is browning so i really think i might have to cut that part off and then just let these new uh ones shoots that popped up select one and let it take off and grow yeah so I can get some fruit off of these. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice these. What is this? This is a oh, Japanese black trifle or yeah, trifle Okay, so what's happening is a lot of my tomatoes are getting sun scald. Like you see this on this one, they're getting sun scald. Let me show you this real fast. Ah. <laughs> These are so good. Those are those gold nugget tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. Oh, let me show you this zucchini I accidentally left out here. And within a day it was sun scald like this, just laying on this bench right here. But anyways, I was going to do a taste video, but no can do because the tomatoes that I was gonna get as you can see here it's just tore up and not good the birds I've been getting to them okay so I have this bird bath out here I try to keep some water in it but there's a crack in it and it slowly just drains out and so I hadn't been here to put water in there so the birds turned to my tomatoes and just tore up. So if it's not the birds tearing them up, it's the sun scald that's getting to them. And this heat, I mean, these are all split really bad and underdeveloped because of the heat. And I wanted to show you, Miss Cornelia is still working on this volunteer here. Um, she's eating a lot off of here. 
I mean, it popped out a few blossoms right there. And there are some fruits on here too that are growing. I don't think that one is growing so much as this one back here is growing. So I'm curious to see what it is, what kind of plant this is. I don't know what that fruit looks like. It doesn't look like anything that I've seen before. So yeah, look at, look at this one. What is this? Oh, this is a mana. Okay. So yeah, and over here, I thought this tomato plant had died, but it didn't die yet. It's struggling, but look, this part is struggling and diseased, but then there's hope. There's a little part down there that's popping out. <laughs> so I have a little glimmer of hope on that one. And this peanut plant here is doing okay. These guys took a big hit from the sun, from this heat. I kept them shaded. For the most part, they have a lot of shade. It's just the heat got to them. Here's an update on my chicks. It's hot right now for them. It's not as hot, like I said. It's in the 90s. Probably the high 90s right now. So this actually is a relief for them. So here, I still have these seedlings that I can put out. They didn't get terribly messed up from the heat and sun. Some of them died, but I could put those out. Okay, so I have some things, a few things I want to show you inside the house here. This, you guys, is a Kadota fig. Now, I had these, these uh, cuttings that were given to me by a friend from a gardening group that I'm in. And I just knew it was not going to work because it was, I had waited too long and there was mold. Look at those roots. And it was mold and rot on the cuttings. And I just knew that I lost my opportunity of getting a, propagating a whole new tree from the cuttings that she gave me and missed out on a great opportunity. So I was surprised. Now this was back in April when she gave the stuff to me. I was surprised to see that. Now, five months later, I got roots and I have a fig tree. And one last thing I wanna show you, and excuse the fan noise. Look at these guys. I planted these so I can pick them out in the garden. These are more summer. Um, items that I want to put out and get going and so I'm going to be transplanting those as well outside into those garden beds. Anyways you guys I just wanted to catch you up to date on what's going on here at Lakeisha King Saving Greens Garden. It's been slow and going because of the heat. I am trying to keep my garden alive as best I can and so we'll see how things go if this second planting will work but stick with me you guys I predict some really good things is gonna happen coming up soon so stick with me if you haven't already subscribed please click subscribe I am so happy that I made it past the 150 subscriber mark and I'm saying this on purpose so that one day when I look back at these, this video, I'll know where exactly where I was at at the time. So please click that button and click like. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about what's going on. People's gardens are winding down because the heat's just devastating it. <laughs> Don't give up. Plant some more stuff. If you're in a zone that you can plant more, another round of stuff do it if not you can experiment take some seeds plant them out see what happens I always push experimenting and that's what i'm doing so but you guys don't give up 
keep pushing forward, keep trying. Even when there's bugs and heat and wind and everything else that get in the way, it's so worth it to grow your own food. As always, God bless.